On this week's show, Mark Polk explains the various categories and differences in RVs. If you're looking to buy your first RV, knowing what type is right for you should be your first consideration. Then, Jeff Johnston is always looking for new, cool RV stuff that not only looks and seems great, but actually works. This week, he shows us the Easy Store Hitch that meets all his criteria and then some. And, I'm sure at least half of you, if not more, watching this show own pets and include them in all of your RVing activities. And our own Michelle Fontaine is no exception. Later in the show, Michelle visits with Angelia Peterson, brand manager of Highland Ridge RV, and checks out a new pet-friendly trailer. Rolling on TV is sponsored by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating over 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed captioning, where available, is sponsored by Forest River. Begin the journey. The fact that roughly 20% of our weekly television viewing audience don't own an RV means that about 75,000 viewers watching this show are considering or already looking at buying an RV. But with so many categories and classes of RVs available, getting acquainted with each category should be priority one. Let's join Mark Polk from RV Education 101 as he breaks down this important information. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Today I want to briefly discuss the different types of RVs there are. When it comes to selecting the right RV, everybody's different, so it only makes sense that there are so many different types and sizes of RVs to choose from. To help simplify things, I like to separate RVs into two categories, towable and motorized. Let's start with the towable RVs. The smallest and least expensive towable RV is the folding camping trailer or pop-up. Pop-ups are designed to be lightweight while still providing many of the comforts and conveniences found in other RVs. Pop-ups incorporate a lift system to raise the roof. When the roof is in a raised position, there is a tent fabric, either one piece or several sections, attached to the roof and the box and it expands out to accommodate the pull-out bed ends. Sizes range from 15 feet to 24 feet when open, and the ends and sides collapse for towing and storage. Many of today's pop-ups have slide-out sections designed to give you additional living space inside. Pop-ups can sleep up to eight people, depending on the model, and prices can range from $8,000 to over $20,000. Next in the towable category is the travel trailer. Travel trailers are a popular choice among RVers because of the wide variety of floor plans available. Let's take a closer look. Whether it's for two people or a family of eight campers, there is a travel trailer to suit their needs. As with other towable RVs, a travel trailer can be disconnected and set up when you arrive at your destination. This allows the benefit of using the tow vehicle to make a trip to the store or go sightseeing. Travel trailers range in size from 15 to 37 feet and offer all of the comforts of home. Lots of travel trailers have slide outs, increasing the living space inside the RV. It's not uncommon to see units with multiple slide outs in the living room, kitchen, and bedroom areas. Most manufacturers offer what I refer to as entry level models, midline models, and high end models. Think of it in terms like a Chevrolet, a Buick, or a Cadillac. With today's lighter weight tow vehicles, RV manufacturers offer lightweight and ultra lightweight models too. Travel trailers can sleep up to eight people depending on the model, and prices can range from $15,000 to over $80,000. Other types of travel trailers include hybrid trailers and what's commonly referred to as a toy hauler. Let's check these two types of towable RVs out. The concept of a hybrid or expandable trailer is a small, lightweight travel trailer with pull-out or drop-down bed ends similar to a pop-up. The expandable bed ends provide more space inside when the camper is set up. There is no raising or lowering the roof. Hybrid travel trailers are equipped with many of the same amenities found in conventional travel trailers. These hard-sided trailers can be towed easily with many of today's smaller SUVs and crossover vehicles. They can sleep up to six people and prices range from $15,000 to over $30,000. The other type of travel trailer I just mentioned is a toy hauler, also referred to as a sport utility trailer or sport utility RV. 
These trailers have living quarters in the front and garage space in the back. Toy haulers have a rear ramp door that lowers so you can load your motorcycles, ATVs, or other toys you want to take with you on camping trips. In the front, there are cooking facilities, dining areas, a bathroom, and sleeping arrangements just like conventional travel trailers. There are lots of options available including a generator making the toy hauler fully self-contained. Because toy haulers are so popular, it's not uncommon to see fifth wheel trailers and motorhome toy haulers too. So prices can range from $25,000 to well over $150,000. Aquacam Possums, so fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. That takes us to a fifth wheel trailer. Fifth wheel trailers are the type you see that extends over the bed of the pickup truck or custom tow vehicle. This bi-level design results in fifth wheel trailers offering the most living space of just about any towable RV. Let's take a look. Fifth wheel trailers range in size from 21 to 40 feet and require a special type of hitch installed in the bed of the truck. The tow vehicle must be properly equipped and capable of handling the weight of the trailer. Fifth wheel trailers tow and handle better than conventional travel trailers and combined with spacious living quarters are oftentimes a choice for full time RVers. Like other towable RVs, fifth wheels are available in entry level, midline and high end models. And there are lightweight versions that can be towed by half ton and three quarter ton trucks. Fifth wheel travel trailers can sleep up to six people depending on the model and prices range from $20,000 to well over $150,000. The next towable RV is one that lots of people don't think about, the recreational park trailer or park model trailer. These are designated to be used as temporary living quarters for camping or seasonal use. Let's look at some park model trailers. Park model trailers come in various designs but are one of two types. There are 12 foot wide models with siding and a peaked shingled roof similar to a small house or cottage. Another common type of park model is slightly less than 8 feet 6 inches in width and up to 39 feet in length. They have slide outs for additional living space inside when they are set up. In most cases these seasonal cottages are taken to a vacation destination, set up and left there. It might be in an RV park, a resort area, in the mountains, or along the coast, but it's usually within a few hours drive from the owner's residence. Prices can range from $25,000 to over $100,000. The last type of RV in the towable group is a truck camper. Truck campers are loaded and secured to the bed of a pickup truck. This makes for a very versatile RV that can access back roads and remote areas other RVs can't always get to. Today's truck campers come in many different sizes and floor plans. They are built in 8 to 12 foot models. Manufacturers are making these campers more spacious by extending the cab over area and adding slide outs. Numerous options are available to include generators making the truck camper fully self-contained. A truck with the ability to carry the weight of the camper is needed. When you are not using the camper, it can be removed from the truck. Truck campers can sleep up to six people depending on the model, and prices range from $15,000 to over $50,000. Now that's a lot of towable RV types. In the motorized category, there are three types of RVs, Type A, Type B, and Type C. Let's start with a Type A motorhome. Type A motorhomes are the largest and most luxurious of motorhomes, ranging in size from 25 to 45 feet. They are the type you see that looks similar to a bus. Type A motorhomes are built on a specially designed vehicle or bus chassis and are powered by either a gasoline or diesel engine. You have access to all of the amenities while you are traveling, including the bathroom. Type A motorhomes are fully self-contained with an onboard generator. 
Like other RVs, Type A motorhomes are available in entry level, midline, and high end models. Depending on the model, a Type A motorhome can sleep from two to six people, and prices range from $70,000 to $500,000. Some high end luxury bus conversions can cost over a million dollars. Type A motorhomes also allow for towing a small vehicle behind the motorhome. Type B motorhomes are the smallest of the three motorized RV types, ranging in size from 16 to 20 plus feet. They are conversion vans that are modified and equipped with all the comforts and amenities found in other RVs in a compact size. Here's some more information on Type B motorhomes. Type B motorhomes are easier to maneuver and park, more fuel efficient, and can be used as a second vehicle. They are popular among all types of consumers. Type B motorhomes work well for one or two travelers. Some models can sleep up to four people and come equipped with the same amenities you see in a Type A motorhome. Type B motorhomes are built on an assortment of vehicle chassis and are powered by either gasoline or diesel engines. Type B motorhomes range in price from $70,000 to over $100,000. Type C motorhomes, also referred to as mini motorhomes, are built on a cutaway van chassis. The popularity of Type C motorhomes has some manufacturers building larger and heavier models on heavy duty truck chassis with higher gross vehicle weight ratings. Let's take a look. Type C motorhomes range in size from 20 to 37 feet. They are the type you see with the sleeping area or entertainment center extending over the vehicle cab. This additional sleeping area makes the Type C a good choice for families. Some models can sleep six to eight people. Like other RV types, they are available in entry level, midline, and high end models ranging in price from $60,000 to $150,000. Well, there you have it. Now you know all the different types of RVs you'll find on your campground. Be sure to check out our next video in the series to learn about five common problems RV owners may experience at the campground. Till next time, thanks for watching. From off-the-road adventure camping to luxurious full-time RVing and everything in between, Forest River has the RV to fit your needs, budget, and outdoor lifestyle. To see our full line of trailers and motorhomes, visit ForestRiverInc.com. Forest River, begin the journey. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcole refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcole RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcole.com. With the popularity of last year's Smart Tow 2 contest, we decided why not do it again this year? So, starting February 2nd, we will be giving away one Thetford Smart Tow 2 LX each week for six weeks. You got it! That's six Smart Tow 2s, and all you have to do is enter once, and you're good to go for the entire contest. To learn more about the all new 2020 Smart Tow 2 LX, and also how to enter the contest, visit our website at RollingOnTV.com. You can't win if you don't enter, so what are you waiting for? Setting up camp can be great fun. You unhitch your trailer, pull your tow rig away, start setting up all your hardware, your tools, and so on, but there's usually something left that you may have to deal with and store somewhere. For example, have a pair of these guys, your uh, weight distributing hit spring bars, and this guy, the weight distributing hitch head. If you don't want to have it hanging out the back of your truck where you're liable to run into it with your shins, you got to do something with it. Well, you can toss it into a storage compartment in the trailer or roll it around the back of your truck. But there's another solution that may just be the best idea yet for what to do with this hardware when you're using your travel trailer. The new Easy Store Hitch is a device made to bolt to your trailer's A-frame area and it gives you a place to store both your spring bars and your hitch head. 
Let's take a look at how it works. The Easy Store features a durable powder coated finish and an adjustment bolt that lets you change the unit's mounting angle for hardware clearance. Place the unit on the A-frame and choose a proper spot for it. The hitch base has numerous bolt holes so you can widely adjust its mounting position. You need to plan a spot where the spring bar ends and the Easy Store body won't contact any propane lines or wires. Four long bolts and lower attachment brackets secure the device to the trailer A-frame. Install and tighten the bolts and that completes the installation. The Easy Store may not easily fit trailers with dual batteries or close clearances. This trailer has room, but the weight distributing hitch chain hanger interferes with the mounting plate. The base is large enough to drill new bolt holes and cut off the excess plate material for clearance. A qualified fabrication shop can handle this with ease. Slide the spring bars into place, then mount the hitch head and secure it with your preferred hitch pin lock. The spring bar chains can be routed around a frame member and padlocked together for extra security. The Easy Store Hitch is a solid, simple solution to the question of where to store your hitch and spring bars when not in use. To learn more about it, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. If you think our furniture looks great out here, just imagine how nice it'll look in your RV. Rec Pro luxurious, comfortable furniture, and much more. See for yourself by visiting recpro.com. Wow, am I glad I used Aquacam. Maybe chili wasn't the best idea. Aquacam, the most powerful odor control available and the number one seller for over 50 years. It's no secret that a lot of RVers travel with their pets and many campgrounds are also pet friendly. <laughs> RVers aren't going to leave any family member behind. The RV industry is paying attention, and the new Mesa Ridge from Jayco includes a model that's a recent addition to the pet-friendly RV market. Our own Michelle Fontaine took a good look around a pet-friendly Highland Ridge and saw some interesting features. I saw, noticed this RV is pet-friendly. So we're gonna go in and take a look, and Angie is gonna describe the RV for us and why it's pet-friendly. I'm Angie and I'm actually the brand manager for Highland Ranch RV and this is the 335 MBH Lite fifth wheel. Excellent and who's this little guy? And this is Cookie. Hi Cookie. And she is already enjoying her pet friendly dishes over there which are conveniently stored underneath the refrigerator which makes it easy for her to get her food and water and also it's very easy to when you're traveling down the road you just simply slide it in place. Does it, it locks in? And it locks in place, so there's no mess, no fuss, mm -hmm. no nothing. And of course she's like, I want my food. <laughs> oh, and this is, this is good, because you can walk right around it even when it's open. Absolutely. That's good. Yeah, and you can just yeah. have a seat. Okay. Over here we have these two oversized recliners. Oh. And let me tell you. Oh, that's you know, nice. After a long day, you want to come in and relax <sighs> and watch TV. 
They have heat and massage. <laughs> Isn't Get that out, nice? Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm and then on a date like today, I sure could use it because it's a little cool out there. Very nice. Come here, Cook. She, you've already made a new friend. Good. Right. And this is nice that you're facing the TV. Absolutely. And you know, that's, that's, there's a lot of units where you, you get comfy and everything else, and you have to look over there, you have to look over there to see the TV. Right, and it's straight in front of you, and mm -hmm. so your, your neck isn't like bent, and you're not... Ugh. And you got yeah. a nice little fireplace going on. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and over here, we do have a jackknife sofa, um, so mm -hmm. that if you have some additional guests, they can stay right there. Yeah, we have this huge island kitchen over here. So you're always, you know, if you're entertaining guests and friends, you're always right there. Two plugs. I like that. Yes. Lots of outlets here. And one thing that you'll notice, too, is that our heat registers are not in the floor, but they're up out of the way so that poor Cookie's paws won't get stuck in the floor. They're actually up out of the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that lovely fur won't get into them. Absolutely. And it's much cleaner. And we have the linoleum throughout the main yeah. living areas. Yeah. So it's much easier just to clean. And no our rugs. patented flush floor slides, too. So you're not having to step up or anything like that but back to this kitchen oh my gosh it is a gourmet chef's dream you've got this beautiful island right here with lots of storage you even have a pantry over here great that's that's necessary yes mm -hmm. and you've got these wonderful slide out drawers right here where yeah. i happen to keep cookies little treats <laughs> cookie did you hear that <laughs> and of course you've also got you know your overhead compartment here you've got a three burner gas stove and mm. even a 17 inch oven nice how I like nice gas. is that we've also got our eight cubic refrigerator stainless steel mm -hmm. so Beautiful. very nice kitchen oh and our residential high-rise faucet mm -hmm. with one large sink I love this feature because I can get my big pots underneath here. I can wash Cookie in the sink. <laughs> Trust me because she loves to roll around in the mud. You have a desk right here and you can put a, a TV against this wall. You've got plenty of storage right here. Yes. This converts into a bed. And if you have kids over, <gasps> this folds down actually into a bunk bed. Oh my gosh. So it's a great hiding place for kids or your office or even for adult guests. And it's, as you can see, it's very spacious. Hmm. Nice. So if you're traveling with dogs and you go like go leaving the trailer, you can actually put their kennel in here or lock them in here for safety. Absolutely. A lot of uh, a lot of people, what they do is they bring in their crates or their yes. pet bed yeah. and so forth. And this and is they have their own little space. Absolutely. Right, Cook? The nice thing about the Highland Ridge showers is that they're all radius. You've got your shower surround here with the wand and a skylight mm -hmm. up above. So you're not doing this. No, you're able to just get in there and feel like you're at a residential shower. Mm -hmm. Plus, you also have your porcelain foot flush toilet. Porcelain. Which Good. Is, yeah, which nice. is nice. nice upgrade. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And lots of storage over here. And now in here, we have the large queen size bed with lots of storage everywhere for shirts and off to the side, you've got two nightstands with electrical plug-ins so you can plug in your phones, your tablets, whatever it may be. It's right there at your fingertips. You've got a nice full-size wardrobe slide over here for all of your hanging. And of course, if you're like me, you've got shelving over here for your shoes and sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. So again, this is Michelle from Two Gals and a Boston Brood here for Rolling On TV. And we're looking at, again, what's the model? This is the Light 335 MBH by Highland Ridge RV. Remember, own the outdoors with Highland Ridge. Pet friendly. Pet friendly. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> to learn more about the pet friendly Highland Ridge, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. We hope you enjoyed this week's show, and for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos, stories, and RV news, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. As usual, this has been another fun production.